negation and consternation, gamers. That's what I felt in learning that on April 11th, 2020, Paul Haddad, actor and voice actor, has passed away. Even though his works as an actor extended to far more than just that, gamers from all over the world, especially of a certain age, will forever remember him for his voice acting as Leon S. Kennedy in the original Resident Evil 2. What have we got here? Released on the first PlayStation in 1998, where he delivered some of the most iconic lines in video games history. Don't shoot! Down. He was born in Birmingham, England. May 20, 1963. He was an actor and studied at the National Theatre School of Canada. He was mostly a live theatre actor, but that didn't stop him from appearing on films and TV series while also accepting to participate in side projects like music videos and voice acting, including many animated movies and of course our Leon. One of his most notable performances can be seen in an episode of the Canadian TV series called Murdoch Mysteries, specifically in the second episode of the second season, originally broadcasted in 2009, by the title Snakes and Ladders. If you're curious and want to see performances from him, I will leave some links in the description so that his works can live on even beyond his voice acting in Resident Evil 2. His last contribution as actor, and the only other one related to video games, was the voice recording of a character for the survival horror video game Daymer 1998 by Invader Studios. He played the role of a mysterious scientist known as the Cleaner. His role was very important, so much so that he is in fact the very first voice that you hear when you start a new game. I already talked about him in my previous video about Damer 1998, where I couldn't help but smile when I noted that he was so happy when he got to participate in this project that he even wanted to make a video to announce it. My name is Paul Haddad, and over 20 years ago I had the distinct honor of playing Leon S. Kennedy in the Capcom masterpiece Resident Evil 2 Biohazard. You could really see that he was so proud to have voiced Leon and so enthusiast to go back and please his fans once again. Oh, and by the way, his performance in Daimer is also brilliant. I never get tired of it, honestly. All that matters on the chessboard are good moves and the actions you take to achieve this result. What I do is bide in the shadows, where I can strategically exploit the most vulnerable pawns. But this time had to be different. If there is a constant throughout his career, it is quality. His acting was outstanding and he deserved a wider recognition, but certainly hardcore Resident Evil fans recognized his talent. And he loved them back and has always been very available to them. Even participating in podcasts and telling fun and curious facts in relation to his performance uh, back in 1998, and even going as far to open his heart and talk about his struggles to fight cancer. Indeed, he fought and won many battles in his life, one of the hardest being probably the throat cancer. But he fought and survived. And now, uh, his death came as a shock to me, and I'm sure it's for all of you, and uh, his friends and family, and all those people who are crying their heart on this. Uh, I'm with you, you know. And I've been shocked these this whole days. It affected me on a personal level, not only because uh, he was the sweetest guy in the world, but also because his last personal post on Facebook was sharing my own video about Daimer 1998 
where, as I mentioned before, I also spoke about his involvement. And I am happy to have done at least a little bit my part in making him feel appreciated in his voice acting for the world of video games. Many of us first heard his voice in 1998 and for many of us it is also a part of our childhood that died. We've played Resi 2 for so many times over and over now that Paul's voice felt like family. And even if he didn't go on to play Leon in subsequent chapters of Resident Evil, we first came to love and could relate to this young rookie in Resi 2 also thanks to his performance. For us gamers he will always be the true Leon, the rookie who against all odds managed to survive. And he will survive, because he might be gone but never forgotten.